Hey hi everyone this is admin from admin365 and today we are going to talk about how to create a admin account in office 365 so let's get started so whenever we create a tenant it creates a global admin account for us but if we want to create additional admins on the tenant we can do it from the active users page in the admin center we just have to create a user account and then give it the admin privileges or roles to it so let's see how we can do it uh, we just have to go to office.com and sign in with a, a global admin account we will have to be a global admin to be able to create a admin so please sign in with a global admin account on the office.com and then you have to click on the nine dots and then click on the admin. It will then open this page which will be admin.microsoft.com and on this page you will see users tab. If you don't see that you can click on show all and then you will see the users tab. Under users we will click on active users. And here you will see the option to add a user. The process would be the same as adding a new user on the tenant. The only difference would be that we will assign a admin role at the time of creation of this account. So we will go ahead and click on add a user and give it a name admin. and give it a username and you can select the domain on which you want the account to be the username would be admin3 at the admin365.com and then you can assign a password to the account And if you want the user to change their password after the first login, uh, you can have this checked. If not, you can remove the check and hit next. If you want the user, the admin user to have a license, you can assign the license from the list. Or you can simply click on create a user without a product license and then hit next. And this is the place which differentiates a user from an admin account here you can see by default a user option is selected no admin center access but for us to make it as an admin we will have to click on the admin center access and depending on the permissions or the role assigned to the account we can choose the services this is the major services if you want to do it on a more granular level you can click on show all by categories and then you can check all the list available here global admin is basically a admin which has access to the entire tenant can do any changes on the tenant So all these roles as you can see is available. Global reader is the same, can see everything but cannot make any changes. And uh, if you need more information on each roles which you see here, you can simply hover your mouse on the top of the information button and you will see that it each role has its own restriction and permissions and once you assign the role to the account you can simply hit next you can review all the information you can see the role which is assigned and then click on finish adding this will create the user and once the user uses its email address and password and logs in on office.com 
he or she should be able to see see all the options which the particular role which you have assigned gives to them you can also add additional roles if you need after creation of the user for example if we click on finish adding this will create the user admin 3 and if i want to remove or add more permissions i will simply click on the name here under active users and then i will go to roles section and click on manage role but now it was not showing there as any role assigned because it is a new account but as soon as i refreshed as you can see exchange administrator is back and once i click on manage role i can simply add or remove any permissions or roles which i don't want this user to have and you just have to click on user to make it the user account or if you want to make it a global admin you can select this and remove that do make sure that if you assign global administrator role you don't have to assign any other role hit save changes and the setting will be updated so there you go guys in this way we can create a new admin account if you have any question you can drop it in the comment section and you have a nice day bye